Hey guys, it's Kiki here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you subscribe. Once you subscribe, you become a member of the Pride. We're all lions and lioness here, embracing our mains. So once you subscribe, you join the Pride. <laughs> but y'all, I've been away from the game for a little bit. I have been out of commission, I'm not gonna lie. The last two and a half weeks, I have been feeling like straight boo-boo. I'm not gonna get too much into it. Uh, I don't have COVID or I didn't have COVID or anything like that. Basically, I was diagnosed with sinusitis and they prescribed me amoxicillin and the amoxicillin just took me all the way out. It literally destroyed my guts. So now I'm in the process of replenishing the good bacteria in my stomach and I'm, I'm on the way to feeling 100% better. Y'all, it was rough. But anywho, moving forward today, I want to do something different, y'all. I'm tired of looking busted and dusty. I feel like I've been looking dusty. So here, I have not been doing anything to my hair. One of the pros of having micro locks, you know what I'm saying? But during those two and a half weeks, y'all, I I probably watered my hair about a good three, four, or five times out of two and a half weeks. And y'all, that's not good. But y'all, that ain't got nothing to do with what I want to do today. But... So as you know, my hair is like a 1B color, like a 1B. I want to switch it up. I've been wanting to dye her for a little while now, but I've been pushing it off. So I want to try her out today. You know, I used to dye my hair a lot when I was um, a loose natural. When I was in my younger days, I used to dye it a lot more. But I want to, you know, try something different. So what I'm going for, I'm going for, I don't know what the style is called, but I want to bleach the fronts, just the front bangs, just the streaks. I just want to have one streak of color up here at the front and the rest i'm gonna dye jet black because i'm tired of looking look is this something yes my hair is black but it's not crispy jet black y'all like it's like a off black i don't know maybe i'll hold off on that and maybe just do the front pieces maybe i'll do that and just play it safe i don't know but i'll probably start here i'm gonna come back and show you what i'm doing so guys this is the amount that i think i want to do you blonde like a nice blonde and just leave the rest black i'm not gonna dye the rest if i don't need to my hair is already pretty black look at y'all just i'm talking to myself convince myself not to dye the rest black y'all i don't know so what i did i went to sally's look at keely right here looking at me i love you so much girl when i tell you keely was taking care of me she was by my side through it all and i love you i love you a lot Thank you for that. But uh, into the colors, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply and I picked up the Cream of Nature. What color is this? Ginger Blonde. I picked up that color because I'm like, it's already bright, but I don't think my hair is gonna get that bright, of course. But, you know, if it turns out like a nice little chestnut brown, I'm okay with that. I just want something different happening right now. And then this is the jet black intense black that I picked up as well. But I might save this for a rainy day. You know, I might save her. I think it could, I mean, it's pretty close. Like, I haven't dyed my hair since 2018. So it's been like over three years. So I don't know if I still have like jet black on the ends or nothing like it don't look bad, but you know, this is darker on the picture. That is a bit darker. I don't know y'all, let me just chill. But if I do end up, I'm gonna start with this color, but if I end up going to the jet black, I'll put that on last cause it don't take long for that anyway. But inside here, you got your instructions. I hope they pack some gloves in here because I don't have any gloves. Please have some gloves. Yes, baby, we got some gloves, the little plastic ones. And then you got all of your ingredients, your contents, the cream developer. We got her in there. We've got the intense conditioning treatment. I, first of all, I appreciate you giving us this. Who head is this about to be on? This little, what, what is that about to do for me? Absolutely nothing. We've got the highlight booster, so I've never used a blonde box dye, so I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie. And then we've got the actual hair color itself in this tube. And then we've got some argan oil. I do like argan oil, so we got her right there. Yeah, that's it. And I'm in dire need of a retie. Y'all, it's been about two months now since I did my last retie, but I don't feel like my hair has been growing as much because I haven't really been great to her these last two months. Usually, I mean, I got some growth. I've got some, but you know, usually I oil my scalp and massage it in and do all that jazz. And when I do that consistently, I see more growth to be honest, because I ain't done nothing to my hair and I've had more growth than this in a month and it's about to be two months. So it works. Massaging and oiling your scalp, watering her every day, it works. Put on your gloves. Let's go ahead and get started, baby. We're getting in it. 
Kilu, you want me to dye some of your hair too? I would never do that. Absolutely not. Y'all, I ain't done a hair dye video since 2018. And I had a good time in that video too. I sure did. Oh, also, I bought some deep conditioning treatment by Shea Butter. I mean, by Shea Moisture. I live for this. This is what I use as a loose natural, and that is what I'll be using today because I want to put moisture back in. Not sure if this is the best thing since I have locks, but I would rather have moisture in my hair than dry breaking locks. So, oh, uh, let's go. Uh, okay. She is safe in her cage. I, you know, she be eating everything. I ain't got time for her to be eating nothing that I drop. Okay, I gotta keep it away. Oh. That's kind of hard to pour in. Vapor. Okay, that's in there. Oh, no, no. Pause. Y'all, I'm quite curious on how this is gonna turn out. I would like a blonde like a nice honey blonde on my hair, but I just feel like it's gonna turn out brown. And at the end of the day, I'm okay with that too. All right, shaking until it's blended. Y'all, even if it comes out like a nice auburn ginger, I would be happy with that. But y'all, this is the first time I've dyed my hair since 2018. So I'm excited to see what the results will be. I'm not expecting anything dramatic, but I just know I didn't want to bleach my hair. So I'm pretty sure my texture is gonna change a little bit, but it's all right. Now the tricky part is going to be how to get the color on these pieces. I forgot how strong hair dye smells, but I'm trying to not get my roots until I get to the end. Cause those are obviously gonna lift a lot faster. This is definitely a little bit more challenging since I've got locks, so I'm not gonna lie. I can see my curls loosening up. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes and I'll come back and we'll see what we looking like. Okay, y'all, I wasn't even recording. So this is what we looking like so far. Y'all, I'm getting this little nice little, this nice little auburn color and you know, she kind of ombre and I like her. But I'm trying to get all the way up to the root. So I let it sit on my ends for about 30 minutes. Now, now I'm gonna try and go up to my roots. But to do that, cause I don't want to stain my scalp, I'm gonna just put some on here and move up. Since this is the, you know, the oldest, the youngest part of my hair, I want to do that last. So actually it's been about 40 minutes since I've had this on. So yeah, I'm gonna move on up. Moving on up to the root, cause I want that to process last. Even if it don't get all the way, I'm okay with that. I'm a-okay, but I don't want the roots looking brighter than the rest. So we doing that last. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull away pieces. And just apply it to the root. I'll do it like that, yeah, that's fine. Okay y'all, I've applied the dye to my edges as well as the roots. So now I'm gonna just let that sit for maybe another 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash it out. But my camera is dying, so while I'm doing all of that, I will 
go ahead and let her charge and then I'll come back and show you the results. I'm so like blown away. I did not expect it to come out like this. So yes, I am excited. Stay tuned for the results. Okay guys, so this is the final result of my color. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm not going to lie. So y'all, this here, let me just zoom in on the roots. So I missed a couple of spots that I thought I had, but you know what? I'm not even worried about it. Next time I'll have it done professionally. It's not looking that bad, but I think it could be a little bit better. Let me take my hair down so you can see. It's still a little, still a little wet, but this is what she looks like. She looks pretty doggone good, you guys. Especially since I hadn't colored my hair in like three years. And then being that this is like, you guys. But like I said, if you can see, I missed a couple of areas. And it was a little harder to make the color penetrate the interlock portion. So I probably will be getting it done professionally whenever I color it again. But this is it for now. I like it. What y'all think? I like it a lot. Something different, you know, just spice it up a little bit. And I didn't want my head, whole head colored because I still like my black. I still like that a lot, but y'all, my hair is growing. She touching the shoulders without stretching. I haven't stretched my hair at all. She growing. Let's just appreciate that. I wanted to sit in front of the window so you could see more of how it looks. Yes, some of the roots did get a little bit lighter than the rest, but that is a-okay. Like, I'm loving it. I can't wait to put some curls in here, you know, when I do the side part. Okay, come on, come on, come on. It's time to interlock, like I said. But I'm liking this, y'all. It is definitely giving me spring and summer vibes, and I love the contrast. Like, I'm here for it all. Like, so let me know what y'all think. Did I do a good job? Like I said, I know some parts were missed, but I literally tried to work it in to the interlock portion. She just wasn't having it with me. She just wasn't having it. But y'all, overall, I give it, I give it a good rating. I think it was great. I think I did good. So I'm really digging the middle part aspect of it. I'm really digging that part because you know it. I think the color brings out my skin tone, but yeah, y'all, I like it. I think I did good. <laughs> I was gonna go all around the perimeter. I don't know what that, that style is called, but I really like it. Oh, uh, one more thing I wanted to add. I did not really lose my curl pattern. I mean, she's still there, but she did loosen just a tad. Just a tad, but nothing terrible. So this is my tight coil over here. And let's compare it to one of the bleach coils. And as you can see, as you can see, she's still looking pretty tight, pretty tight. So I didn't really receive any damage from this dye from what I know of, but I did uh, allow the conditioner to sit on there for a long time while I was in the shower and uh, I rinsed it out. I immediately moisturized with a leave-in conditioner, oil, and water, and that's what I will be doing each day. Uh, you wanna make sure you keep your hair moisturized. This is my first time coloring my hair with locks, so we will see how it goes, but I wish these parts would've got, you know, more touched. It, it, you, you can see the black. But who about to be all up on my head like that? Nobody, nobody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more uploads. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.